Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I'm going to be going over my final test bracket, and then I will have my conservative bracket and my final main bracket uh, that will go up tomorrow, uh, probably at 10 and 11, uh, conservative at 10, and regular at 11, uh, Eastern Time, uh, that, that gives it an hour and two hours before tip-off at 12.15. And so if you didn't know, you can click on here at Import Bracket, um, import celebrity brackets, and you can look at all of the the people you got: Obama, Green, Mike Greenberg, Mike Golick, Diggy V, Jay Billis, Joe Lenardi, the guy who does bracketology, Andy Katz, Colin Coward, Matthew Barry, who is more football, and Michelle Beadle, who is the I think she's the one on Sports Nation with Mer or, uh, whatever his name, Marcellus Wiley, but. Uh, yeah, that's just something you can look at if you go on ESPN. I can't get this to go back. What the heck? Right to the middle. All right, but I'm going to hop into this here. We're going to take Florida just like normal. Uh, I'm going to take Pitt. I'm still going Pitt over Colorado. Um, I'm going to go Stephen F. Austin and Tulsa. I'm going to go. I'm going to actually take Dayton over Ohio State with Syracuse beating Western Michigan, New Mexico, Kansas. And I'm going to go back up here and take Florida over Pitt, Stephen F. Austin over Tulsa, Syracuse over Dayton, and New Mexico over Kansas. Then Florida to the Elite Eight with Syracuse, and Florida advancing to the Final Four. I think that'll be the, a good game. Syrac I think Syracuse finally gets back to form against Western Michigan. I think that gets them a little bit settled down and a little bit heated up, and then they get a nice matchup against Dayton, which also lets them get heated up a little bit. And then also New Mexico, uh, not high-quality teams. And I'm going to start take. I'm gonna take Cincinnati from now on because everybody's taking Harvard. And you know what? I believe in Sean Kilpatrick, and I'm, I, I don't want to take Harvard like everybody else. So it's Cincinnati. I'm taking Delaware. There's my – I'm trading Harvard over Cincinnati for Delaware over Michigan State. It bothers so many people that I take Delaware, but I don't care. The reason I do it is because simply – Everybody's taking Michigan State to win the national championship, and Del if Delaware happens to have the miraculous upset, hey, AO, I am in business. But uh, Iowa State, I'm going to take them. UConn and Nova. Next, I'm going to have Virginia. I'm going to take, obviously, Cincinnati over Delaware. Iowa State over Providence. Nova over UConn, even though I think, I really hope that game happens, because whether UConn wins or not, uh, I'll be happy. I like Villanova and I like UConn. Uh, Shabazz Napier is one of my favorite players in college basketball. UConn is my second. It's it's a really close tie. UConn and Michigan are pretty much tied for my favorite team um, in college basketball. So I'm going to take Cincy over Virginia. Uh, and then I'm going to take Villanova over Iowa State. And Villanova to the Final Four. I'm going to come up top here. I'm going to come up 2D top over here. Take Arizona. Oklahoma State, my boys, Marcus Smart and company, North Dakota State, San Diego State. I'm going to take Nebraska. Nebraska, Creighton. I don't know why I said it like that. Oregon, Wisconsin, uh, Oklahoma State. I'm going to take a upset here. Um, I forget who did this. Uh, one of the celebrities did this, and it, and it made me think. And I'm going to take North Dakota State over San Diego State, making it two 12 seeds in my bracket to advance to the uh, to the Sweet 16. A long shot, but still something I'm willing to gamble on. Uh, Creighton over Nebraska. Oregon over Wisconsin. Creighton over Oregon. Oklahoma State over North Dakota State. And North Dakota State, oh, wow, I can't even, Oklahoma State to the Final Four. Down here, we're taking my boys in Cal Poly, who I picked them to, ups to upset Texas Southern. Now I'm taking them to upset Wichita, and then Kansas State to the uh, Sweet 16. The only reason I'm taking that Cal Poly pick is because it's worth that one risk, it, risk point in case Cal Poly comes out and the magic continues for them, um, and they shock the world again. I don't know, and I'm going to take Kansas State over Kentucky because I think... Uh, uh, Kentucky gets down early, and then the freshmen kick in, and they start arguing all that. And I'm going to take NC State over St. Louis. Uh, Louisville over Manhattan, even though I could see that as an upset. Um, I don't know. People have problems with my bracket because I could have upsets. Like, what am I supposed to do? Just have a perfect, have the highest seeds advance. Florida automatically wins. Arizona plays them in the national championship. 
Like, I have to have some sort of upsets here. And then I'm going to take Mercer, Texas, Michigan, uh, Michigan over Texas, Tennessee or Iowa. I think it's going to be Tennessee. But, uh, you know, there's always that shot. It could be Iowa. I still think they beat uh, UMass, uh, Louisville to the Elite Eight to face Michigan. And this is probably the toughest game, but I think I'm going to take Michigan in the kind of upset over Louisville and have Marcus Smart and company play Florida for the national championship. And I'm going to take Oklahoma State in the takedown. They're just going to take out everybody. I, I, I think this is my pick. I think this is going to be my pick, and I'm going to get absolutely screwed if they get upset by Gonzaga or if they go down to Arizona. I think if they can beat Arizona, they should cruise to the Final Four. It should be cruise control, even if they got to play San Diego State or Oklahoma. Oklahoma is, is sliding. San Diego State, I think they have them outmatched, and I think Marcus Smart, uh, Markel Brown, and LeBron Nash can outscore Creighton and two, uh, can outscore Doug McDermott and two of their best players. So I I'm, I think that that'd be a cakewalk for him, and so yeah, I'm gonna take Oklahoma State. I know people are going to have problems with this as well, but you know, I'm just I'm just putting my bracket out there. This bracket isn't to please everybody, um, but it's a bracket that I like. Um, it's pretty much what I think I'm gonna I'm going to go with, even though I feel like it's it, this is a you know, uh, what am I trying to say? It's 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 a home run. I'm either going to blow some people out that I'm playing against or I'm going to lose big. But uh, that's how I do my brackets. I risk. It's risk versus reward like that UConn year, the year UConn won. I had a, in the first round, 32 games, I got 30 of them right. Uh, in the second round out of the 16, I think I got 14 right. Um, then out of the 8, I think I got 7 of them right. And then out of the next four, I think I got three of them right. I got the fi the national championship correct, and I got the winner. I just obliterated. I I wrote. I raked in some money that year. Uh, but that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.